when you talk about buying or selling volatility, long options are long volatility positions that goes for whether you want to call or put. And the reason is because if volatility increases, all else equal, the price of options goes up. Um, let me show you an example of that. I have a presentation I was working on. If you are on the Simpler Trading webinar yesterday, uh, actually, I still have access to those slides. Hopefully, I don't get in trouble for showing you those. But I used this example yesterday. I pulled it from another one of my presentations. It's very helpful, I think, to illustrate this. Um, so this is from our presentation last night. Uh, this I pulled from another slide uh, deck that I'm, I'm putting out soon. Um, and what I did here is, to illustrate the point, is I said, let's price out a one month, two and a half percent out of the money put. So it's like a 44.50 put, let's call it, one month into expiration. And I put this just into a regular Black Shoals model, right? If you Google Black Shoals model, you'll come up with it. Um, and all I did here was I changed the level of the implied volatility, right? So I didn't change the underlying price or the days to expiration or anything else. <clears throat> um, and so what you can see is the value of the put skyrockets as we raise the value of implied volatility. This would work for a call option in the same way. If all else equal, if you raise implied volatility, the value of a call, the price of a call is going to go up. So in Hero, what you're seeing is negative delta trading when people are selling calls and they are buying puts. Now, buying a put is a long vol trade, particularly in the S&P 500, right? Because we're betting the VIX is going to spike and vol tends to, to increase when we go down. Single stock, it's not always that clear. If you're trading GameStop the last few days, ball is going up as the calls are, or as the stock is going up, right? So, um, you know, you don't want to kind of confuse those two things. Now, in this case where we have the market threatening to come down, generally you would expect that if the stock market goes down, the value of S&P puts increases, not just because the delta is increasing, meaning that if you own a put 2% out of the money right now and the market goes down 1%, well, now your put's only out, out of the money by 1%. So that's great for you. That's a delta increase because your put is going to be more at the money. So that raises its value. But also the VIX probably spikes, right? Implied volatility spikes. So that also adds to the value of your put. That's one of the reasons that buying puts when vol's just cheap sometimes makes sense because, look, it's just cheap. And if the market does go down, vol's got a long way to arguably pop, which adds to the value of your puts as well. 